The quadcopter is a four-rotored helicopter variant that uses two sets of counter-rotating blades to maintain stability in the air. This is a three-dimensional aircraft and you can move as such. Throttle is the actual vertical elevation of the aircraft. Yaw is the left and right turning of the actual aircraft itself. Pitch is the attitude of the nose, whether it be up or down, and roll is the canting left or right of the aircraft while it's in flight. This is a short video to kind of explain what each of the components of the aircraft are. In the future videos, I will elaborate on how they're actually put to use. These are the basic components of a quadcopter that I will be covering. These are the basic quadcopter frames. The black represents the actual frame itself and the red represents the motors. The H-quad is generally preferred for FPV because of the amount of equipment that you can actually put on it. The X-quad is generally more for acrobatics and then the plus quad is generally the least preferred because of the motor front attitude. Remember, you want to keep the frame as light as possible because all the equipment you're going to add is going to be more weight and of course with all aircraft, weight is always a bad thing. The flight control board is the brain of your aircraft. They control the speed of each motor using gyros to maintain the stability of your aircraft. Usually they come with a like auto leveling sort of system. These can generally run between $15 and $200 depending on how sophisticated equipment you want on board. The one uh, pictured is a I-86 Lima which is from Hobby King. It's $15 and it's just good for basic flights. I use it on all of my quadcopters. Of course, with remote control, you're going to need a radio and a receiver. Um, generally, 2.4 gigahertz is the norm. There's UH uh, frequencies, but those really aren't too important unless you're really trying to reach out really far with FPV sort of purposes. But for line of sight and within about a mile or two, 2.4 gigahertz will uh, cover you for whatever your needs are. I myself use an FST6. It's a cheaper radio. I think you're running about $60 or so right now. Um, if you know anything about radios, it's not really the price of the radio that matters. It's really the quality and the antennas that is generally the key to success with radio equipment on any medium. Let's your speed controllers are small computers basically that take signals from your flight control board and in turn draw energy from your battery to regulate the speed of your motors to keep them all basically stabilized in air. The quality of these things is very important. Do not cheap this one. These are very important. Make sure that uh, the amps that come in fit your motors so you don't actually burn out the SC or the motor itself. I'm not going to insult your intelligence and explain to you what a motor is. This is an electric motor. It does draw power. Two things I'm going to harp on is watts. This is the, uh, the draw of uh, power from your battery itself. And then uh, KV is the amount of turns per volt. So if you're running 12 volts, you're running about 12,000 RPM, give or take. When choosing a motor, KV is going to be sort of the biggest thing. Um, I run about 900. That's good for like FPV and kind of more stability. But if you're trying to go fast and do flips and whatnot, you're going to want a fast one, about 2,500-ish. KV should suit your needs and give you plenty of power. Choosing a propeller is very crucial. Make sure that it fits your needs and as well as what your motor can actually handle. Make sure you, when you buy these that you buy a bunch of them because every time you crash, you probably will break them. Um, more rigid propellers or more stable and flexible ones are generally better for maneuverability. Um, carbon fiber is nice and all, but uh, plastic will suit your needs just fine generally. I appreciate you watching, like, subscribe, you know, what have you, but uh, in the future ones I will cover the actual electrical, the, you know, the nitty gritty, actual design concepts and theory.